I'd had a brilliant idea, or so I thought. Theophilus McPherson, the man with the coolest name in the world, otherwise known by his alias, Theophilus Fernandez, the man with not quite as cool a name, had by sheer coincidence told me his hot takes on Valentine's Day, the day of bestiality, in honor of some old Catholic pimpstitute, and Christmas Day, the day of smoking weed and having orgies, plural. Well, I thought. Well, well, well. I thought. Well, 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 well. I thought. Well, 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 well. I thought. Well, well, I stopped myself before I finished that one, realizing that my brain was a little bit fried from my whirlwind house move and everything else, which explained the video that was about to play. Well, 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 I thought, that's two holidays down. Maybe Theophilus has some insight on some other holidays. Maybe there's something else we ethicists should know. I like to stay on top of things. It's my job. Perhaps, I thought, blowing a few bubbles from my pipe to indicate my sophistication. Perhaps a good place to start would be with Theophilus's 10 reason how to have a successful Thanksgiving day. I could hear the chatter from the audience already. Responding to a Thanksgiving video now, wasn't it a little late or early? <sighs> they have little vision. I flicked the switch on the side of my fedora to silence the premonitions of comments to come and pushed forward, free of petty constraints like relevancy of topics and timeliness of videos. After all, this was logic, where response material aged like mysterious women who aged like fine wine. At first, I wasn't sure if Theophilus knew his camera was on. Welcome to Life Journey Show. Theophilus sprang to life as though he'd suddenly realized he was live broadcasting, which he wasn't. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson. I briefly longed for the days when Theophilus still went by the name McPherson. It was such a cool name. So, so cool. I decided that for the rest of the video, my name was McPherson, private investigator. It felt good. And today, since it's the, the Thanksgiving season, I have a th Thanksgiving 10 reason why. 10 reason why what, I asked, dropping the past tense gimmick that half my audience was probably worried I'd keep doing the whole time. Yes. Theophilus agreed. 10 reason why how Thanksgiving supposed to be thankful. Just as with the Christmas episode that caused me so much confusion, we were doing another list of 10 reasons why how, where the obvious distinction between a reason why one should do something and instructions on how to do it would likely be ignored. I was concerned, but I became much more concerned when I suddenly noticed that I was still speaking in the past tense. Hadn't I stopped that two clips ago? That's enough of that. It's already getting annoying. I'm gonna talk normal now. I said, hoping in vain it was true. My stomach sank into my scrotum as I realized that my present tense speech was confined to quotation marks in my script. I had never thought I could feel so trapped by a few tiny lines of pixels. I felt like a turkey locked in a coop for the winter. Did turkeys even have coops, I wondered, or are those just for chickens? Yes, my friend, it's not about the turkey. Theophilus had artfully put into words what I had started to fear must be true. It's not about the turkey. Sure, maybe the turkey has an opinion on its coop. Maybe it thinks the chicken should live there. But that matters nothing to the farmer. And likewise, my opinion on my double-quoted prison mattered nothing to the word processor. I wouldn't be talking my way out of this. Oh sure, perhaps like the farmer, the word processor could be reasoned with somehow. If only I could learn how. But I was a turkey. Turkeys are testicle-faced morons. How could I possibly hope to reason with a greater being like Google Docs? And it's not about Black Friday. That was what worried me. Because for the turkey, indeed, it was not about Black Friday. Black Friday came after Thanksgiving. By that day, the turkey would already be nothing but human waste in some sewer. For the turkey, Black Friday might as well not even exist. What does it mean for a day to exist? Do days really exist? In what sense? I started sweating in places I'd never sweated before. What did this infernal machine want from me? I locked eyes with it, trying to divine its intentions. Surely it didn't want to eat me. After all, the turkey and Thanksgiving thing was only a metaphor, and I was fairly sure even Google wasn't evil enough to create software to stuff a person and cook it to a minimum internal temperature of 165 degrees before eating it with cranberry sauce and gravy. Although from experience, I was worried I might be giving them too much credit. But it's about being thankful. I wasn't feeling very thankful. So 10 reason how Thanksgiving supposed to be thankful. I wasn't convinced that a holiday was capable of any feeling, let alone thankfulness, but I decided to keep an open mind. Number one, we don't pray when we rise in the morning. I was glad Thanksgiving was thankful I don't pray. That meant it was pleased with me. Perhaps if I pleased it sufficiently, it would choose some other bird for dinner. But we are thinking about the turkey. 
Thanks, Theophilus, I said. I'm glad someone is. We're thinking about Black Friday. He had a point. Don't spend all your time worrying about Thanksgiving. You might not live to see Black Friday, but if you think like that, you definitely won't. I felt a surge of determination and took a pull from my pipe. The bubble juice sucked into my mouth and I spat it out. I was gonna figure this thing out. One way or another, this bird was gonna wreck that farmer's day. Sure, maybe I was fat and ugly and not all that bright, but I had a pointy beak hidden somewhere under all that droopy gross flesh, and I wasn't above applying it to very sensitive spots if it came to that. Own in America. Number two, we don't praise God for another day in the land of the living. I had no idea what that meant, so I ignored it. I was getting used to ignoring half of Theophilus's rambling in favor of my own stupid tangents. So number one, we don't rise to pray. Number two, we don't praise God for another day to be in the land of the living. Those two extra words, to be, helped a lot. We don't praise God for another day to be in the land of the living. Which meant, I could only suppose, that Thanksgiving was thankful that we didn't thank God for not killing us today. With the realization that Thanksgiving felt thankful, I felt slightly more at ease. I was two for two on pleasing the holiday that had me at its mercy. I would get out of this yet. Number three, we don't practice giving to those that are in poverty. Like such as visit the soup kitchen or giving to those that don't have turkey or those that have food to, to eat on this day they call Thanksgiving. Theophilus, in his hope that people who don't have turkey get some, seemed to be advocating for the maximum possible amount of turkey eating. I felt somewhat betrayed. I thought we were friends, but I decided to keep it to myself. After all, he didn't know I was now a turkey. In fact, I wasn't sure he knew I was anything at all. I felt somewhat offended by this realization. What was I, chopped liver? No, I was a turkey. Number four reason, we don't see the poor but we own to see our needs. Considering that the poor were the very people Theophilus would have me fed to, I felt all right only seeing my need of not being eaten instead of their needs. No, we don't see the poor. We see only our needs, needs of feeding our family. How dare those people put the need to feed their families first, I thought. Awful. Just awful. But what about those that don't have a turkey? What about those who have no food? for the table or for their stomach. Well, there was something worthwhile in this message, unlike so many messages Theophilus preached. At the moment, I wasn't that worried about the emptiness of a stomach I might soon find myself in. And a fifth reason, we don't thank God for his promises. It occurred to me that so far, very few of the reasons why how had been either reasons why we should be thankful or ways to feel more thankful. They were just random scolds about things Theophilus thought we weren't doing enough. I felt that either the content or the title of the list would have been well served by a little more time in the oven. Oh no, I'd got myself thinking about ovens again. No, we don't thank God for our promises. Cause we make promise and our promise are broken, but God promise a yay yay and amen. I didn't know what a yay yay was, but regardless, it didn't sound like a very impressive promise. And number fifth, number six reason, glory to God, we don't see the privilege, but pain and sorrow. I remembered now why I'd started this video with such a ridiculous premise, guaranteed to quickly fall off the rails. It was because I knew, without ever watching the video, that half of it would be meaningless tripe and I'd need to fill time. And here I was, pretending I was a private investigator turned into a Thanksgiving turkey by my word processor, and I felt proud of my ability to predict the general direction these videos would go. Year after year of carefully watching them made one uncannily skilled at that. My friend, there's a lot of privilege. And it's not about the pain or the sorrow, but God been good to everyone that's viewing this video. Oh, now I get it, I said. I didn't get it, but I did want to get on with it. Number seven reason, we don't see people potential, but failure. Having watched an embarrassingly large number of Theophilus McPherson Nandez videos, I was struck by his audacity in accusing anyone else of this, when all he ever seemed to do with his time was scold other people for their failures to live up to his religious demands. Yes, on this Thanksgiving day, we don't see people, people privileged, but we see their failure. That sounded like a slip of the tongue. Theophilus first said we don't see people's potential, but failure, but then that we don't see people's privilege, but failure. But as usual with him, it was hard to tell if it actually was a slip of the tongue or intentional incoherence, because if it was a mistake, he showed not the slightest sign that he'd noticed. Everybody is somebody, my friend. 
It was one of the most insightful things I'd ever heard. Everybody is somebody. I quickly scribbled it down on my notepad and stuck it in my jacket pocket for easy future access, because I knew that otherwise I'd forget something so not obvious. Because everyone that's viewing this video is a paycheck away from being put outdoors. I thought about arguing, but I realized that with the expenses tied to the new house that was uncomfortably accurate at the moment, and when was the last time some dame had walked through my door looking for someone to spy on her cheating husband? Never. I decided that when the case was solved and I got my present tense voice back, I should remind people that I have a Patreon. I took out my notepad and scribbled that down too, right under Everybody is Somebody. Yes. Number eight, we don't, we don't point out greatness in friends, but criticize them. He had a point, but that was mainly because I only had a couple of friends. Yahweh, Key Chicken, uh, Padre, and they all kind of sucked. Everybody is great. He glory because everybody can can serve the masters, can serve the God of the universe. It seemed like he'd just given me a choice. I could serve the masters of the universe or the God of it. I chose the former. So don't criticize people. I chose a bad moment to take a sip from my baster. I spat my own juices all over my keyboard in my surprise at Theophilus's blatant hypocrisy. But lift them up, hold them up, praise them. I've seen your videos, Theophilus, I said. I'm still waiting to hear any praise of anyone. You're the most judgmental prick I've ever seen on YouTube. Praise them how in a way that they can know that they are somebody, they are not trash. Doing a great job at that, Theophilus, I thought. God don't make trash, we become trashy. Now I saw how it was. Theophilus wanted to let people know they're not trash, unless he thought they'd made themselves trash. Very convenient. How we become trashy? By smoking weed? by drinking liquor and doing things our body shouldn't be doing as sex, not being married, or doing to animal bestiality. It was quite the eclectic mix of pastimes he'd listed. I wondered if it made any difference if he married the animal first. Glory to God. Hallelujah, I thought. And then my knife reason, we don't play fear, but we cheat for position on our job. I internally questioned the relevance of unfairly climbing the office ladder to the discussion of Thanksgiving, but I decided it wasn't worth saying out loud. I'm talking about Thanksgiving. I'm talking about to be thankful for the opportunity to be in the land of the living. Was it deja vu, or had I really heard that earlier? If I had, why was Theophilus bringing it back now, of all times? But we cheat. We play. We don't play fear, but we cheat for position on our job. He said that as if it should bring clarity but it only brought confusion. It had no apparent connection to the opportunity to be in the land of the living, unless he meant your co-workers would be mad enough to take you out of it. And I'm a tenth reason, and I'm gone. I should have been glad to hear that, but I was more concerned about when I would be gone. I certainly couldn't end the video without escaping my quoted prison unless I end up on a Thanksgiving plate. Take me with you, Theophilus! I whispered. We plot to get even when we should let the Lord fight our battle. We seem to be drifting further and further away from the originally stated premise. On this day, we should be, we should be thanking the Lord. Hey, glory to God. We, we don't plot to get even when we should let the Lord fight our battle. I know they cut in front of you. I know that they do all this thing to you. But if you, if you give the Lord, the, the Bible says the vengeance belongs to God. He said, I will fight for you. That was all well and good, but it was still entirely possible to fight your own battles and thank the Lord. There didn't seem to be any inconsistency there, and Theophilus didn't seem eager to point one out if he thought there was. Vengeance is the Lord. Apparently, vengeance was the Lord. It was a beautiful religion. I shook my head and smacked myself in the eye with my massive snood. It belongs to God, my friend. It don't belong to you. So let me go over this one more time for you. Listen. No. I said, hurriedly. No, 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 the Lodge happened to be the name of my Discord server. Everyone should join that, I thought to myself, since I plan to use it more heavily through the 20s. I decided to abandon the holiday premise, because this was more interesting. The reason why people join Grandmaster Lodge or Eastern Star because they think 
that they're going to be in a secret society. Indeed, that was a strange misconception. There were over 1,000 people in the lodge. I wished that I could narrate the simple words, there are, but as usual, they were locked off behind an impenetrable wall of quotation marks. But you, you, you want to, you being an occultic movement, even though people say they are Christian. There were very few members of the lodge who said they were Christian. Of course, Christians were welcome. We weren't assholes, but they tended not to show up too often for obvious reasons. And they are atheists. These people are mixed together of being in a secret society. That's all right. I informed him. We got no problem with race mixing. There's just two. There's light and darkness. Righteousness and unrighteousness. There's just two. There's just two spiritual races. What do they do in a secret society? They, they do a lot of orgies. While it was true that we had a not safe for work channel called Blood Orgy, it was a misconception that it was actually used for blood orgies. It was mostly used by degenerates for disgusting furry porn. Oh sure, we had no problem with degeneracy, but we didn't really want it splashed all over the other channels, so we limited it to the blood orgy, at least in visual form. Then we wouldn't have to see it. That seemed reasonable. The average person could only take so many wolf dongs. Man, the past tense thing's a lot harder with this bit. I muttered to myself. Maybe it's time to finally break free. I took my notepad from my pocket and read it. Everybody is somebody. Remind people you have a Patreon, it said. I had limited space, so I erased those. The last one reluctantly. I really wanted to remind people of that. And I began to scribble ideas for my escape plan. An inspiring montage played as I worked for days and weeks, burning through pencils and writing smaller and smaller on my itty-bitty notepad as it became nearly worn through by my eraser. A couple minutes later, just long enough to feel satisfying but short enough to keep the viewer's interest, the montage ended and I had my plan. I stood up solemnly, ready to do what had to be done, leapt up with my fist in the air, and freeze-framed. A long series of expensive dramatic scenes later, with a great deal of intrigue, mystery, and blood, I was back to normal, not trapped in those stupid quotation marks and not a turkey ready for the oven. I'd won. It was exciting. The audience loved it. I got an audience score of 100 on Rotten Tomatoes. The critics gave it 13. Drink a lot of beer, smoke a lot of cigarette, and smoke even weed. This really does play like an ad for my Discord, doesn't it? So these people are in a secret lodge, a secret society. These people have exempt themselves from society. They are in a cultic movement, that damn God, yes. No. All right, maybe a little. That damn God, even though they say they believe in, in God, listen. Are we talking about the same people? The masonry were builders. Oh, yeah, those are not the same people. Well, that kind of kills the video for me. Ah, I gotta admit, I'm kind of really bored now, so I think I'm just gonna quit.